What's good guys, if you need cheap, fast, reliable MT and you're sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds, make sure to my sponsor, Safe NBA MT. links in the description. Let's get into this video, let's go. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video and guys, today we're going over Top Snipe filters, man. Um, We're going to go over Top Snipe filters before we do get into the video. If you guys can like it up, sub it up, comment down below, all that good stuff, it'd be appreciated, man. Um, this video is late because I literally woke up and I tried posting a video, but my mic was making this crazy echoing noise. So I rage quit, turned off my computer, turned off my Xbox, took a huge nap, and came back back. So now, you're going to get your top snipe for the video late. Um, as you guys do know, the more likes on this video, the more giveaways we do do on Twitter. So go follow Twitter if you're new. Um, Giannis is a champion, and I'm a happy person right now. Giannis is the GOAT. Um, anyways... Let's go over these filters. There's like five filters. Um, so we're going to go over those filters. And yeah, so let's get into those filters. Let's pop one pack before we do get into those filters. Um, we actually just did pull Boris Dio. And right there, we pull an Opal. The Opal's most likely going to be Double G or Rui Fernandez. Oh, wait, no, he's a uh, Dark Matter. Let's see. 98 overall, 21 power forward. And it is that? Is that, is that Brian? All right, that's Brian Scalabrine. All right, so let's get right into these filters. All righty, so let's get into these filters, man. Oh, I shouldn't have quick sold that Brian Scalabrine. But let's go. Dark Matter. Cheapest is what we're going to start with. Start start with. Um, so pretty much anything that does pop up on the Dark Matter end for under around, I would say, like 98, just just sell it. Just, uh, just buy it, I mean. So... A bunch of Rudy Fernandez's for like 93 or under. So definitely just try out this filter, man. I'm not going to lie to you, though. Some of these filters are going to be super dry. Like, for for real, guys, some of these filters are going to be super dry. Like, honestly, um, it's endgame. The market's just beyond crashed. High chances are very, very dry. But anyways, let's keep going. We got Galaxy Opal. Galaxy Opal cheapest. Put it around like 5,800. Uh, maybe even 5700 uh, So yeah, this one's pretty good. So you just have to look out for the USA players or the USA players and the OG USA players. Um, there's a lot of ovals you wouldn't want to buy. But honestly, it's not a bad filter. You just have to stay away from certain players. Like I would stay away from this John. This Ryu or Rui, whatever you want to call him. I think that might be a decent price. Not sure though. Most likely not. But let's see. Yeah, definitely not a good price. But definitely... Just keep checking out this filter. I've missed a lot of good things on here. I actually missed a couple of things for like 400 MT. Um, I want to show you the next one that I think is the best one in my opinion. And it's Pink Diamond. I think this one's the easiest profit range. I think this one's the easy. This one has the easiest profit margin. I just believe that this one is very, very good. So um, you can think what you guys want. But I definitely do agree with this Pink Diamond filter. This is one of my favorite filters. This is the one where I made a lot of MT. Not only that... I've missed a lot of things for 500 MT. People throw all pink diamonds for nothing because pink diamonds are literally one of the lowest tiers now. They're top three low. Uh, they're the third highest tier from the top. More like the fifth because now there's goat and invincible cards. So like there's pretty much a different whole tier. So they're like the fifth rarest one, which is kind of doo doo. Definitely check your out. Keep your eyes on pink diamond. If you get something under uh, 3,000, buy right away. You just got to know pricing a little bit. Pink Diamond Filter is definitely one of the good ones. But anyways, let's get into the next filter. And this is going to be the last... Actually, no. We have one more filter at this. This one... Go to Nike and go to Maximum Buyout, whatever you want. I have a lot of shoes enabled. So if you guys want, uh, enable out these. You could probably need like 25k to enable it out. But it's actually pretty worth it. So when I enable these out, we got the 13 hypes. They're not bad. The hypes aren't bad. You want the PEs though. You want the KDPEs. That's what you want. So keep your eyes on the KDPEs and the Kobe Greens and the other Kobe's. So here's the Kobe's right here. You want to pay attention to these. There's another Kobe and there's a KDPE. Those are the, those are the shoes you would like. You have to pay attention to. So those are it. And then last but not least, we have this one. This one's decent. It's nothing amazing. It really isn't amazing. It's just eh. Um, but just keep refreshing. If something pops up, even if it's a bronze, just buy it right away. But yo, that's all we got for the video. Um, you just put your filter to 500 and then 600. You could try 650. 
It might be flooded, but you just gotta let me know. But anyways, that's all we got for the video. Thanks for coming out. I'm sorry. Hopefully my mic works now. And that's it. Have a good one. Peace.